Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, I can clearly tell ya, clearly tell ya, this show pet is absolutely nutty. And I honestly don't know what's going to happen 24-7 in it. And I can't even tell you what's going to happen for like 10 minutes straight. Like 10 minutes straight of seeing the show, I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like every episode, it's like that. It's not like it's just one episode. It's not like it's just two episodes. It's every single episode, man. <sighs> but in a good way. We see so much, I think, sometimes uh, quickly nowadays. Like, we'll see a ton, a ton of just characters really being uh, changed for the better in the case of um, the story's plot, right? Like, the person that we are following right now that is acting the way that I never expected him to act is a great example of a story needing the narrative of a person or for instance instead of just being like okay this guy right here he may seem good but he may be bad like there is no indicator on what good and bad was in this show and i think that's something that also scares people away is because guess what now your emotions are supposed to be con like it's supposed to be conflicted about what you're seeing for instance if you see the guy smoking the cigarette and he's treating all these people who are capable of doing this power the way he's treating them are he was a crusher and he's you know he's doing what he was told to do if things aren't going the way that he sees it um it it goes into this narrative of why he's this way how he could be this way and if he is this way what could have got him there you know what i mean and that's the really cool part of why this show is continuously not um afraid to give me like a weird episode like every single episode feels almost as if there's no real um villain or good guy here because all of these people are kind of coded in some type of sin or something that they're disappointed in themselves in and that they've gotten so deep they have to just keep pushing forward they have to figure out the weirdest narrative of the case of hey we're in a situation where i need to change some people make some people feel some type of way and if i can't do that we might wind up blowing our cover or, or even worse having someone like this man this week who's capable of doing almost everything that we are or you know our, our main characters are and doing it almost better because what easier way to you know be on top of stuff than to have inside information on your enemies uh not only your, their enemies, but the tendencies. I can't just randomly go down low and block. It's not in my nature to just be like, Oh, I, I think I should go and block my shins. Fighting games, am I right? Um, but yeah, that's, that's really what gets me about this show. It's just the way the narrative is so in your face about things. Like, it's like, well, did you know this guy's a freaking psychopath? And... We go back to our boy in the fish tank area, and we're like, it's like, did you know this guy's suffering from, like, being abandoned? Like, it's like, wow, it's just, there's so much that happens because time is passing by. Like, time is the biggest villain in this show, because whenever time is actually going by, every character gets time to realize certain things or tries to hide away feelings with uh, certain things, so... Um, one thing we see is with time, the kid who was rescued by this guy that we're hunting down this week, he wanted to do anything to, you know, just make sure he didn't think about the guy that he truly wanted to be spending time with and even working these jobs with. 
and for some reason he just had to go he just wanted to go somewhere else he disappears almost as if someone like the people who've been crushed right but the difference with him is they weren't visiting him they weren't checking up on him they didn't know exactly where he was and that's why this guy was a threat and not only was he a threat he puts the perfect perfect uh, situation of someone that he's been working with almost down into their valley just by giving them triggers like by showing a doll by having that doll being uh, relatively um, even remotely close to what he knew so here's the thing we learn about um, ways you can make like pigeons or like they can make messengers and to come after a guy who knew about doing this who knows how to do this and not who, only those things but he knows that now that he's showing himself he is that much more uh, in trouble for being tracked by these people right so he's purposely being tracked he purposely is you know making certain connections with certain people you know like he's talking to certain people instead of others thus making it look like he has a connection with one person and not all of them because at the same time uh, all the people that he may actually have connections with they're being manipulated and tamper with just like the way he was doing with the pizza guy because think about it like this the pizza guy goes up to the guy with the glasses and gets his uh you know his normal payment or whatever and he starts looking at the guy kind of like huh you know like uh i'm what wh why aren't you even trying to get out the change for this you know like i haven't said anything like i want my I don't want my change or anything like that. I didn't say any of it. But he's acting as if that's what is expected. So with that in mind, that's exactly what the first guy has done to him to try to make uh, the pigeon pretty much always working, right? So now we know the whole change is a part of him making sure he had he had like a, some kind of tabs on him because guess what soon as we find out this man has to now go look for his own way to like make change or something like that it's the only opportunity he gets to attack and that's how many steps are going on and to be fair it feels like the only reason why I'm really into this too and loving the whole m uh, mystery of them figuring out how to get at each other because look as soon as they get at each other look how like defenseless you are sometimes right like a swipe of a hand a flick of a dollar um you know a lighter going up in your face and slowly turning it into a hypnotation like it's so quick and almost like effortless for them that it's it's the scariest part of the show for me because you never know now like What's stopping them from having a war of a whole bunch of just random civilians fighting said war because they all don't know what they're doing? And then as soon as they bump into certain other people that might have like trigger words or code words for them to activate, it just happens. And then once it's done, they look at their hands, they look at the gun, they look at the weapon or whatever, and they're just like freaking out because they blacked out for an hour while fighting and ended up being the victors and coming out alive so i am very fascinated in where all this could go i mean not only that the guy who is making his move on uh the kid that he saved way back in the very first episode and trying to at least just have contact with him he hasn't talked to him in years is now confronted by someone who supposedly may share the same peak or valley as him so I think it was peak and that is very very bad I mean imagine like they could change and alter what you thought in your peak in your best moments so imagine what somebody who is almost a part of your best moments like aka if he doesn't exist that part of the moment might not exist aka uh, the way we saw homeboy in the water right like 
without him having that moment with that certain person, he doesn't exist in that moment anymore. So that's what this guy is to the man who's trying to make the move to see the kid. And that's going to be a tough fight, which I don't even think he can win just because of how things are. So all that being said, Pet is absolutely a mind freak. And that's why I love having shows that relax me. Some shows that are just action-packed and kind of simple and straightforward or have a little twist and turn here and there. But this show is a bunch of zigzags, and I'm in a maze that they said if I take too many turns, I'll be lost for a good week or so. All right. That's what's fun to me. That's what I look forward to telling you guys about because not only can I be passionate about it, unlike something like... Um, something that's super super straightforward oh this guy got in a fight he got beat up and then he got stronger and then he won <laughs> you know like that's that's a lot of shows and unfortunately they still are awesome to watch and you could be passionate about it i just can't be as passionate right because it's happened so many times other elsewhere so I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about Pet if you are watching it or if you're just waiting to hear something crazy from me. I have gotten a couple of you guys before when it comes down to my reviews being something you needed to hear to even give the show a shot. So I hope that is the case sometime again for some shows and we get to talk about them. But if not, whatever, whatevs, have an awesome one. I will talk to you in the next one, my boys and ladies. I am your man, the anime G, and that was the worst outro I've had in a while, so take it as you will. <laughs> Peace.